Hey folks, Replay Frank. Today I got part three of the buzzsaw build for you. We're going to do some finishing touches on it. We're going to fire her up. And we're going to cut some wood. And then I'm going to play a really super cool song by Blue Oyster Cult. Dominance and Submission off their 1973 album Secret Treaties. Now today my shout out goes to Dawn DIY. Now Don is a, another mechanic, uh, fabricator, machinist that he builds all kinds of cool machines and, and stuff. And I can't remember exactly what state he's in, but he's a great channel. He's a really skilled fabricator, builds lots of great stuff. Check him out, guys. All right, let's get at her. All right, so I've got this piece of pipe. And this piece of steel here, this was a hold down for propane tanks on an RV. You see it's got nice teeth on it. That should hold the wood down pretty good. And then I got two brackets like this. And they're going to be hinged off this bolt. And then this other angle iron bracket is going to hold the other end of the pipe with the other one of these brackets. And I got these clamped together like this so I can get the bolts in the right place. So it'll be centered. Then this bracket here is going to get moved down to here and between the two pipes and I'm going to push against the pipe and it's going to tilt that piece over and clamp down on the wood. Okay, I got this done. See how I attached it there. I attached it here. A bigger piece that's about a five inch piece of wood put a smaller piece on see holds it pretty good my hands nowhere near the blade and it's not going to get pinched I also added a blade guard and a belt guard and then I blocked off this little spot here that I had to cut out to clear the pulley so that the pulley doesn't rub on the wood. I may go to a smaller pulley and make the blade go faster, I'm not sure yet. Then I put some braces on here to hold this thing that's flexing. It's not flexing now. I brace, you see an angle iron there. There's another one underneath. And I put one going from the bottom of the table mount up to this corner. Stiffens everything up. So that should be pretty much it. The only thing left to do now is I gotta put a battery tray on it because it's got electric start and maybe a jack leg and wait for it to dry up with the weather because it's pouring rain outside right now. And then we'll get this beast going and see how it works. Okay, I got her ready. Well, let's give her a try. We'll don some safety equipment first. It's raining outside, so I just brought in some wood, a couple pieces, just to demonstrate it.
works pretty good. It cuts it, it doesn't even slow the motor down, even with that big piece, it was pretty dry. So, so far I'm happy with it. And I tried to start it even with even with the the belt tight, it still kicks it over enough to start it. So I don't even really need to have that lever there, but it's good to have it in case the in case the, the blade jams. It doesn't look like it's going to jam though because it just tears right through it like nobody's business. So, anyways, that's enough for now. I don't want to fill the shop up with, with sawdust. So I'll come back one more time and I'll show you what it looks like after it's painted. Okay, here she is painted. So I added a couple more things before I painted. I added a small block of steel here to stop that bushing from being pushed in and the same over on this side. Because when I slide the wood in and out, that table thing hits against the, the pillow block mounting bolts and eventually it might make them come loose and throw the shaft out of alignment. So and uh yeah, everything seems to work fine. I cut the rest of the trailer full of wood. It took about an hour. I had this running for an hour and worked fine. I don't find any issues with it. A little bit bad lighting underneath there. I put the jack leg on it so I can lift it up and down myself. I was really glad that I attached this thing to it because one piece of wood did jam and it stalled the blade for a sec and if I would have been holding on to that with my finger it would have done some damage. Uh, some final thoughts is it would be good to have a bit bigger blade, maybe 20 inch, 24 maximum. I can get a 24 inch blade in this thing that I built here. And uh, So yeah, if you build one of these things, uh, the main thing you got to do is you got to make sure that you got to a solid enough shaft, like that's one inch thick solid steel shaft and pillow block bearings and the blade has to run true so you've got to make sure that fits tight on the shaft with no play and the table has to be square to the blade so that when you push it through it doesn't jam so that's kind of neither here nor there because sticks aren't straight anyways right so yeah I like this project I'm glad that I built it and turned five hours work into half an hour. And I haven't got any bins yet, so I haven't mounted, figured out how I'm going to mount. But when I do mount the bins, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two pieces of steel coming down and back, kind of like uh, mini forklift forks, and then put it on there. And I'll put a couple of hooks welded up here, and I'll use a ratchet strap to hold it up, or chains in a cinch. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching this video get made, and if you decide to do make one of these, I highly recommend it. Let's go play some rock and roll.
25 RPM to the Revolution Line. Each night the girls are loaded. Each night the season's to the ride. While Charles, the one they call a brother, covers on his eyes. We're raising the background. It will be time. Good night, said Charles, a grinning boy. He looked at me greedily and said, It's 1964. New Year's Eve was the final barrier of dominance submission. They took you up and put you in the back seat. Dominance submission. Year to year, we held up for the venture. Dominance submission. Dominance submission. Dominance. 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 Submission. and submission by Blue Oyster Cult. Thanks guys for joining me. I hope you guys had fun this week and we'll see you next time. Take care.